Hey, what's going on? Leo here with Digital Track, and today I want to talk about a, a workshop that I attended recently by this organization, Solano SBDC, that it is a government entity, or how to put it? Yeah, right. It's, it's a government entity, right? It belongs to SBD, SBA, uh, U.S. Small Business Administrator Administration, and they do have um, several locations all over the U.S. So it doesn't matter where you go, you can always find. It looks like it, you can always find a local SBDC in your area. And the great thing about it is because they government funded, so they are uh, all the workshops that they provide. Most of them. Uh, all I've seen are free. All of the ones I've seen, they're free. I attended one called Successful Startups in uh, Solano. Um, so I'm going to be talking a little bit more about it, but I just want to make sure I share the information of, with you about uh, Solano SBDC, kind of what they do, right? They provide services one-on-one, -on -one, uh, advising, uh, not sure... You may want to come and explore the area, the, the area, and call them to see see they do they do business planning, capital sourcing, procurement. So they do. I, um, I don't know the one on one they do how much in depth they go, but it's you know again it's government funded, so definitely it's great to check it out. Uh, you can come to Solano SBDC and look at the center calendar to see what they have going on. Uh, for example, I have this one over here, right? I'm gonna be attending this one coming up, all getting customers online with Google My Business, being in Yelp. Uh, the one I attended recently, again, it's uh, successful startups in Solano. So great research. Again, it's government funded. So a lot of the workshops are going to be at no cost to you. And the best part about it is, that, well, the facilitator we had, it was actually a person, right? This is to talk about how to get started a successful business, right? To be more specific in Solano County, uh, the, the topic of it was the, to learn the pros and cons about starting your own business here in, in the Solano County area. So this person touched a lot into uh, what you need to do, you know, what you need to know about starting a business. But the best part of it is this is a person that is an entrepreneur and business owner for so many years. Uh, so she had a long career as a, as a business owner. And so... She basically be in the trenches. That's what I mean. Her name was uh, Cindy, if I remember correctly. And let me just go over quick, uh, go over some of the presentation they did to um, talk about some of the resources that they touch base on. So, for example, number one, right? If you get stuck on thinking about what your name of your business should be, a couple of things that you should keep in mind is uh, there are other names that are trademarks, so stay away from those. Probably just for the mess. Stay away from the businesses that are, are trademark, um, business names that are trademarks. So, a website that it was provided, it was USPTO, I think it was called, uh, where you can see what, um, you know, you can search a database of trademark. Um, or patent. Now, I, I haven't checked the site. I don't know how to use it. I haven't been here. Um, I'm assuming it should be very straightforward, but, um, you know, some things are common sense. Like, for example, you wouldn't go and name your business Coca-Cola, uh, Apple, I don't know, anything, anything big like that, because I'm sure those are trademark names. Um, <clears throat> other great resource that it was provided, it was Cargo that ca that gov gov um and here in this area you can come and see what type of uh, um what type of business permit you'll need okay um so for example let's say vacaville Solano county and let's say i want to know what do i need for marketing how about advertising Okay, let's say, for example, for advertising, what would I need? And so you put your CD, you put the closest thing uh, for your business um, that you can find, or you can pick many as well, um, if you're not sure, right? And you can always contact them, I believe, to just a general business information, so if there's nothing that is close to what you do. Um, marketing, consulting for services, for example. And so 
things that could be close to what you do, you can put it there. Uh, if you're not sure, there's a general one you can put there, and I think you can contact them as well. But the idea here is the way it works is that there was a list that gonna it's gonna populate. Now the type depending on the type of business that you're doing, even if it's either if it is a sole proprietor proprietor I don't know how to pronounce that word. I always have issues pronouncing in that word. So if you are meaning just yourself, that you own the business all yourself, right? Um, that probably only requires you to do a city and county type of paperwork. Um, then if you go to higher level, like corporate, LLC, partnership, then probably have to uh, file state. Um, so for example, business licensing, I think that's the thing that you, you'll need no matter what, unless you live outside, outside the city, then you'll need um, a county one. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think that's what they mentioned. If you live outside the city, you need to register with your business with the county. If you if you live inside the city, you can you need to register your business with the city. Um, now, you, not everything that is in here you'll need. You'll have to talk to them. Of course, probably sometimes they may say yes. Because uh, they may want some money, but I don't know. You have to do your own research, right? Uh, or probably go to these workshops and ask some questions. Um, there was one to talk about home building construction permit, business property statement, fictitious name. That is with the county of Solano. What it means, basically, if you, for example, if you have a, a business name that is literally your name, right? Let's say, for example, Leo Callejas Marketing Consulting. Um, I wouldn't need this fictitious business name, but anything else, right? Like, a, uh, I don't know, let's take uh, Big Mama Done Shop, um, something like that. That's a, that is a fictitious name. That is not your real name. And so that's why you will do something like this. Uh, there was one about a home permit, but I don't see it for Vacaville. Maybe, maybe they don't have one. And of course, if you have employees, there's some stuff that you need to do, which are at the state level. Um, uh, employer identification number. Again, if you have employees and some other things uh, that it will get you to qualify to something like this. So again, not everything that you do requires you to do everything it's just that um it's just that you you gotta get familiar with uh, some of this stuff but the first obviously it, the important thing to know is that it depending on the type of business that you do is what is going to determine some of the stuff that you gotta do uh so again it's important to attend that workshop i'm not an expert in this and just give you a little bit of what the, some of the resources that they provided um Legal structure, let's go check that out. So legal structures are sole proprietorship, right? Meaning if you're just yourself, if you own the business just yourself. Partnership, right? Let's say you and your wife own the business equally. Uh, limit, limited liability company, LLC, limited liability. So all those corporation, all those are the legal structures that will influence how you have, what kind of permits you gotta do or what kind of paperwork you gotta do. But this is a nice guide. I can help you with this. So let's see what else. Um, other resources they provided, of course, the IRS website, uh, something there for small businesses, or something else, so business, CA, that GOV, uh, business, that CA, that GOV. And then, of course, if you need help filing paperwork to get established your business, mainly do it for like corporations or limited LLC, right? That requires some paperwork, um, some learning experience. Uh, there's, for example, nolo.com, legalzoom.com, and all Rocket Lawyers, all those type of stuff, right? Um, I never went through the process. So I could talk, I cannot talk much about it. Uh, there are legal fees or filing fees, however, no matter which way you do it. Uh, even if you either if you hire a lawyer or if you do it yourself or you go through one of these, um, you know, like legal Zoom type of deal, um, there's always going to be filing fees. So you can avoid those um, for certain things. Right. Like a business license. Yes, there's no way around it. It's 
you can go to your local city and see what kind of pricing uh, they provide. Um, what else? It's going to tell you if you need their certificates, uh, some type of insurance. They talk about having liability insurance. Uh, let's see. Something else that could be important. Uh, they went into, it's important to track all your expenses, right? One of the first things they suggested to do is separate all of your, your income and expenses, so to speak, right? So the first thing that they suggested is go and open an account. Uh, one of the things that I find uh, find out is that most um, credit unions offer free checking account around uh, the area. Banks, private banks, they do charge uh, when I was looking around, right? So maybe that's something that you may want to explore, explore, right? Um, the, what's your level of income right now what, that your business is producing, right? Can you afford the the bank account or is the credit unions free checking accounts in has enough services that you can go buy with whatever they have and obviously of course they suggested any type of accounting software um now can you afford it if not can you do like a google sheet or something like that right uh, those are the type of suggestions that they provided to track all the expenses so it's easier for you not they really suggested you to stay away from commingling right from just having one checking account and and do business and personal uh, income and expenses in there now if you can afford a QuickBook type of deal uh, but you don't want to pay a full-time bookkeeper they suggested that perhaps they you can hire somebody for a couple hours to go and set it up for you for in the beginning right which sounded like a great idea um, Let's see what else that I would like to touch base on. That was basically part one. Then I could have stayed too long for part two. Uh, but in part two, they cover some other great information like um, mostly rela related about a business plan. I, I didn't get too deep into business plan, but however, um, the, I got some links that I really need to go dig in and go over those. Um, it, it, it was very strategic part too. For example, right, um, how, how to go about marketing, right? First of all, you probably got to research. If you have no idea what you're going to do, you probably got to research where you, how your service or product is going to help and how many people will actually need it in your location, right? It, it was very strategic how they go went about it. But I want to cut it. I want to keep it at that. Uh, again, really great resource. Uh, so just to check out the website and the calendar. And if you want to know more about me, if you want to talk about business, how to get your business more uh, exposure online, uh, contact me. Right? You can go visit digitaltrack.co. Um, you can call me or text me at 707-410-0307, or you can email me info at digitaltrack.co. All right. Have a good one. Bye.